Hello, I'm Dan and I'm going to do a very quick demo on how you can use one of these, a Multimedics QA test tool, to perform dropout testing on your ultrasound probes. Now this is part of your user QA, which is essential for patient safety and for compliance. And the reason that we do this test in particular is because crystal dropout can cause artifacts in your image that you might not spot during normal scanning. It can also make Doppler velocity measurements inaccurate. Now, one thing to remember when you're doing this kind of test is that some of your controls will mask dropout. So we need to turn them off before we start. Those controls are harmonics, compounding, and some advanced processing like SRI, X-Res, and precision. Now, if you've already got a QA preset on your scanner, then this is the time to select it. If not, then you can turn off those controls manually. So we're gonna cut over to the image now so that you can see what happens to the reverb as I turn off each of those controls. So I'm in a normal clinical preset for this probe, and as you can see, there's nothing really to note in the reverb pattern. It all looks okay. But now I'm gonna change it into QA settings. And the first thing I'm gonna do is turn off harmonics. And then I'm gonna turn off compounding. And on this system, I've got something called SRI, which I'm gonna turn down to zero. Then if I need to adjust the frequency, if it will go any higher, then I'll set it to the highest fundamental frequency. And I'll change the depth so that I magnify the reverb. And for your focus, I take it to a single focal point and to as high or as shallow as possible. And lastly, I'm going to increase the gain to maximum. And if I've got any saturation, then I'll decrease it slightly until I can see my reverb clearly. And as you can see, although we couldn't see it in the clinical preset, now we're in QA settings there is some non-uniformity in the reverb. Now that you've adjusted your settings, I'm gonna show you the technique of using the Multimedics QA test tool. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is apply a thin film of water over the top of your lens. Then you're gonna take your test tool and you're gonna hold it at 45 degrees to the lens and move it smoothly over the lens face taking care not to apply too much pressure. So that's the technique, just at 45 degrees and moving it smoothly across the lens face. When you apply your QA test tool to the face of the probe, you'll see this bright comet tail. And on a good probe, as you move the test tool across, it will stay the same brightness. However, on this probe, as we get to this area over here where there's a dark band, you'll see that there's a change in brightness. And that flashing and that drop in brightness confirms that we do have dropout on this probe. Now, if you do find dropout in your own probe or any other faults with your probe or scanner, then you can have a look at the Multimedics QA manual to know what to do next or you can get in contact with us by giving us a call or sending us an email.